Research shows that most students find science interesting. But we're still facing a STEM skills gap. And the students taking STEM subjects after 16 still fall into roughly the same gender, ethnic and social groups as they did 20 years ago. That's why BP, King's College London and the Science Museum are collaborating to develop, measure and test a new concept that gets to the heart of how people engage with science. It's called science capital. A person's science capital is like a holdall or bag that they carry around with them, into which they put all their science-related knowledge, attitudes, skills and experiences. The science capital each person has splits into four main types. What you know, how you think, what you do and who you know. Everyone has different amounts of science capital and this affects whether they feel, yes, science is for me or not. Our research shows that the more science capital a child has, the more likely they are to follow STEM subjects. Science capital comes from a variety of sources, including school, home and family, out of school science learning, and the things people experience in their everyday lives. It helps us see all the influences that lead to students choosing STEM subjects or not, and understand why different groups aren't taking them further. We can also use science capital as a tool to develop more effective ways of supporting young people to engage with science. And by building the science capital of all children, more students from more diverse backgrounds will engage with science throughout their lives. Together, we can use the concept of science capital not only to bridge the STEM skills gap, but also to improve the life chances of all our children.